Hello, hello, every sluggy. I am currently invisible. Oops. Womp womp. Okay, there we go. I have become, once again, a full-fetch slug. We are back to Near Replicant, once again, version 1.22474487139. I have done many very silly side quests in the meantime. But I haven't grinded too much, so it's not that big of a deal. I just was getting the small stuff out of the way, like package delivery, among other things. You know, all that good stuff. Okay, is it actually picking up the desktop pod? It is not. Let's see. Okay, that should be better. Hopefully. I'm still a bit quiet. There we go. Okay. But yes, we have new funny adventures in the desert. We must go to Facade. Which, honestly, is one of the better areas in the game, if you'd ask me. It's fun of the funny masked people and their funny little dances. Also, there's a side quest involving that dog we found yesterday, but I forgot to turn it in. But that's okay, we'll come back to the village for sure, many times. Like it. Oh, it's a lizard! I need many lizard tails. So many lizard tails. Berries. Also, yeah, the goats are kind of assholes. The goats do not mess around. A copper ore. Another lizard, come here. I need lizards for the funny drink. For Popple, I believe? Yeah. Did, did that goat just hit a force field? What was that about? Eh, it's not that big of a deal. But yes, we must head out into the great desert. What will await us? Because we're trying to find a cure for Yona, our sick little sister. I feel like I've gone in the wrong direction, because it's telling me to go back here instead. Oh, because this leads to the shrine, then where the heck am I going? Oops. Slug has become lost. Truly a tragedy. Uh, so we actually have Kaine with us now, since at the end of the last stream we managed to go beat the guy in the airy. Well, not really guy, it's more like Grandma. We beat Grandma, we kind of killed Grandma. Really unfortunate when you think about it. But that's okay. Kind of had to do it. Besides, was it really Grandma? Grandma wouldn't say such mean things to Kaine. That's just so cruel. Wait, what was that? There's a pop-up. Lizard! Give me... Must get every lizard to become the most powerful Nearman. I am out of medicinal herbs. And by out, I mean I'm way too full on them. It's opposite day, you know? I forget exactly how big this desert is, though. It has been, again, like five years since I've touched this in any form, so we'll see. So, what's facade like? It's strange. Let's just leave it at that. You're strange. Stranger than a boorish young woman who battles monsters in her undergarments. Shit, shit, shit. Let's go. Okay, that is not a place you can jump to. F. That's okay. It's like medicinal herbs grow on trees or something, literally. That's what they do. And also we have a bunch of... What is this? Wolves? A fountain? And a sand fountain, yes. Clearly there's nothing interesting in this fountain. Not one singular... Th oh, you can turn it. Can you turn it? It looks like you can turn it. It appears to be out of service. Or not. It appears... Giant doggo! Wolves! Okay, Look out. wolves. That's a lot of them. Little do they know, I have the sword of, of killing many a beast. Sadly, I was unable to upgrade the sword because materials for it are incredibly rare. 
Okay, maybe I shouldn't be trying to pick it up while the rest of their wolves are still here, but whatever. That's one hell of a wolf. Bye, wolf. Wait, they're leaving. That one appears to be the pack leader. And also a shade from the looks of it. He was all yellow and glowy. Afternoon, Shiru. Nice to see you here in funny sluggy stream. We are currently in the desert trying to get to facade. It appears. But it's a very big desert, and I get lost very easily in open areas like this. What manner of place is this? I think it's a graveyard. The headstones seem to be lacking names. Also, why do they shine as if they were carved from the rock just yesterday? Ah, so yes, Liam O'Brien is once again Grimoire Vice, and he is as good as he ever was. Let's see, heal ourselves just in case. And get going. Sadly, I did not find a funny border ride out here, which is sad, because bo board drifting is the finest form of transportation in the near universe. Oh, there's a shiny over here. Completely useless! Copper ore! Oh no. Like, I haven't been able to, like, strengthen my weapons with it either. They all went, like, titanium alloy and stuff. I think the gauge is the place. sealed tight. Well, great. Guess we're not getting in. Little shut where, boy gives up too easily. Where is she going? Everyone loves Kaine. How couldn't you love Kaine? <laughs> you know these guys, Kaine? Not exactly. They know you. I mean, to be fair, how could you forget Kaine? She's kind of... unique, to say the least. But yes, this is Facade. It is a giant desert city. It is wonderful. It is also weirdly difficult to navigate, from what I remember. Yes, that backside, Shiru. Back, she is all cheeked I out. I saved a local kid from a pack of wolves. Ever since, this town's welcomed me with open arms. Gonna be a pretty screwed up place if they let me in, huh? <laughs> anyway, I don't understand a word they say, so don't get too excited. I suppose a quick stroll about town is in order. The language they use here is pretty crazy. So, uh, good luck with that. What, you're not coming the with? The king lives in the big building. Figure out the rest for yourself. What about you? I'll stay here. I hate crap like this. I don't know whether to thank you or wish you ill. Oh, Kaine. Kaine does not want to do the delivery person route. She could not give a single flying fuck. Yeah, these guys speak in wingdings. It's kind of weird, just to say the least. Um, what are they saying? Fascinating. They speak a language I have never before encountered. I wish I could speak in wingdings. That would be crazy. Like, just think about it. Like, wing -a -wing -a -wing -a -wing -a -wing -a Very silly. I'd wager that huge structure is the king's manor. How do we even get there? With willpower and smarts, my lad. Use the power of boat. Oh wait, I don't think we can use the boat yet. There's normally like boats around here. Let me try asking the dude. I feel bad that I can't understand them. You could speak a thousand tongues and still fail if you lack knowledge of another's culture. Okay, yeah, no, sand, sand bad. Come on, Vice, help me out already. I am a brilliant book of unspeakable value, not some dog-eared travel guide. I already lost track of where the big building is. There's lots of them, and they're all pretty big. Oh, wait, there it is. That's okay, we'll take a shortcut. I feel like we're just going in circles here. Or not? Is there a ladder? There's a stairs. If only we could speak to the locals. I've no doubt we'd have little trouble reaching the king's manor. 
That's okay. We'll just have to suss out a route on our own. You mean like this route? This no route right entry, here? It would seem. And after we finally made it all this way. Oh, this is pointless. Let us go back. Sure. Why not? Better than walking all the way back. We have learned absolutely nothing. What a good big brother we are. F. That's a wipeout. I guess we can help. Just because you can't speak another person's language doesn't mean there's not universal acts of kindness. Ho ho, look. This one lacks the power of speech. Perhaps she can communicate through gesture. Let me see. Thank you. You. You're welcome. I am Fira. Wait, how is she communicating the name like that? Like, is it just Do sign you language? Need help? Yes, we came here to talk to your king, but it turns out we can't actually talk to anyone. I can. Wait, they can understand you though, apparently. So they understand your language. Oh god! Oh god! Raid Shadow Legends! Oh god! Hi, Persephone! Thanks for the raid! Dracat raid! Yeah, 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 yeah! We have come to Facade, and we're trying to speak to these funny sign language mask people. But yes, thank you very much, Per and Arlie, for the weird collab raid. Thank you, thank you! Guide you? Oh, she will act as our guide! How fortuitous! Hello, Kitsune Kraken. Nice to see you here. But first, I must explain this town. We have come to the sign language arc with the funny mask people. We really just need to see the king. No, there are rules to follow. Oh yeah, it's also like a giant bureaucracy. There's a billion follow rules. Me. Well, there you have it. And yes, the remake is out already, although Yoko Taro is a cheeky man, and it's like, oh boy, it's a quote-unquote version upgrade. Not a remake. Because Taro was crazy. It would seem we are impeding progress. Aw, oh, look at her go. She's trying her best. This is going to take a while. Do not live on level ground. Rule 106? Many rules. Is rule 106 the reason for your labyrinthine system of staircases? Well, I suppose eccentric people deserve an eccentric town. They are very eccentric. <laughs> they speak in wingdings. Like seriously, wingdings is sure a thing. But at least sign language apparently still exists in this universe. Yes, rule 115,017. You must view the town sh by ship before purchasing any items. Oh, come now. What could possibly be the point of such an absurd rule? I don't know, it was a rule that was in place when I first came here, not a new one. Hold on, your people are still making rules? And they have over a hundred thousand of the things. <laughs> oh god, they're at a hundred and twenty-four thousand and forty-six. Of all the idiocy, I could never live in this city. The most powerful of bureaucracies. The wingding bureaucracy. <laughs> We Saturday's been going pretty good. I kind of got through a bunch of like silly side quests and saved the important ones for later. Because we kind of like found a dude's dog yesterday, but we haven't had the chance to tell him the bad news, because that dog was dead. It was really unfortunate.
This is a grocery. 11,034. You must live at a level appropriate to your position. Ah, so the aristocracy lives in the top levels, while the commoners subsist below. It's okay, you didn't have to see the doggy die, because when animals die in this game, it's pretty brutal. Like, they make really horrible gut-wrenching noises, and then there's blood everywhere. But at least we didn't have to actually watch the dog die, it was already dead in this case. <laughs> Poor Pupper got snuffed. Seems like a rather unpleasant rule for those on the bottom. Does this girl plan to drag us about the entire town in this fashion? Yes, Spice. Yes, she does. She's just following the rules, Spice. Uh, let's keep going, I guess. Besides, she's doing her best. Why would you want to skip it? Like, I appreciate that they give you the option at least, I don't think that was the case, originally. And yeah, we just vibe in, in Sand Village City. Although I'm not sure how they get the sand to do this, though. Like, how do you just make a quicksand waterfall? It's not even really quicksand, though, because it was quicksand, even this should sink, you would think. Very mysterious sand. And it is a very cool city. Like, this is probably the coolest... I won't know if it's necessarily the coolest set piece, but it's the coolest, like, city slash village for sure. It's very memorable. Strange Things store. Strange thing with stop store. signs and other funny street signs. Because this takes place in the year, like, 3500 or so, give or take. Such as. Yeah, that is pretty strange. Let's see. We have stop sign. We have. God, I can't read that. No left turn, no parking. Caution. Poison gas? Oh no. That's too spooky. And yeah, we just vibe in on our fun little sand dock. Wait, are we at the palace? Oh, wait, no, we're back to the begin- or, wait, what? Did we just go in a complete circle and are now looping back around again? I'm very confused. Because we just came past where we started from, for sure. Or is it now that we've done the complete circuit, we're now going to the palace itself? Hmm. What a mysterious Jogo. It's kind of relaxing in a way, too. The way it just kind of floats along. It's okay, we have to enjoy the peaceful time fell we can before everything kind of shits the bed. And where are we going? We have passed, like, everything at this point. I honestly do not know. Okay. Wait, we already passed here. Why did we go in a circle, then? What are you doing, silly Freya? A store that sells raw materials, like... Giant... Bear raccoon things? I don't know what that's supposed to be. We use the materials to make the funny masks. <laughs> Rule 12, do not neglect your mask. If you want to live here, you must have a mask on at all times. Yes, I was beginning to suspect that. <laughs> Alright, we have to actually wait for the entire tour before we can actually buy anything. So once again... Funny sand ride. Here we go, shifting sand lands. Greece is not as unforgiving as shifting sand lands, because that place in Mario 64 was a nightmare. Very, very jank level. There's no giant vultures here though, just wolves. Lots and lots of wolves. Yeah, like, it does look really fun to ride, but I also feel like you would get sunburned very easily here with the sun just... Actually, how freaking big is that sun? Where is it, exactly? Like, it seems enormous. 
I mean, to be fair, like, over a thousand years have passed, so the sun's probably, like, changed a little bit, but not that much. Like, just a little bit. We have completed the tour of the city. We can now go Thanks. to the king's manor. Yay! These rules are enough to make a sensible man reach for the noose. I don't know how you survive in a place with so many inconvenient prescripts. It's not so bad. Although I used to ask the same question, then someone told me, Rules do not exist to bind you. They exist so you may know your freedoms. When I look at it like that, they don't bother me. You're a good citizen, Fira. That's kind of weird. And yeah, the mask would protect from the sun. I still cannot buy items, though. We have to go to the king's palace. We must go onward. Now that we've made like two full loops through the funny sandmobile. We just vibe and we just schmoove and we are almost there. We have almost defeated the funny sand city. I don't really know if defeated is the right word, but we're almost at the point where we can actually get the place opened up a little more. Please don't trip again. I worry for you, child. She's trying so hard. This is the king's manor. However, we have no king now. You have no king? Our king was stricken with a foul black illness and so passed away. His son, the prince, now rules this the land. Black scroll. This is the prince's royal advisor. He would know far more about these things than I. Thank you. All of this touring has been helpful for understanding your language. I believe I will be able to speak with this advisor myself. Wow, you can speak Wingdings now, Vice? That's amazing. We need to talk to the prince. Now we have the magic of subtitles. The Wingdings have been banished to the Shadow Realm. My patience for this kind of thing has long ago evaporated. It's not your fault, Fira. Let's go back to Kaine for now. Off we go. Oh no, we have to actually rise again. <laughs> Never escape. Also, the sword is clipping through the sandbars. Oh no. The sword is too chonky. Just like my tail. Chonk, chonk, chonk. Also, I tried farming an upgrade material earlier, and boy, the drop rate's kind of garbage on some of these. Like, apparently the only way to get what I need this early is to fight, like, that giant shade that kicked my ass yesterday. And even then, the drop rate for that is, like, 10% or less, I think, so that's not happening anytime soon. Because so far, if nothing else, the remake is incredibly faithful to the original. There has been no weird time shenanigans, no weird alternate history things, just exactly the same so far. It's kind of weird. Like, I like that they improved the combat, and that they, for the most part, kept all of the voice actors the same, except for, like, the two kids and the junk heap, but... I'm just gonna take a quick detour and save, just in case something happens, because that took a while. And... we're almost there. Oh my gosh. Yes, it's Kaine. Slow down, I can barely... The person who saved me... Surely you don't mean Kaine. Kaine. Helps you, this foul-mouthed hussy. Hey, Kaine's not that bad. Piss off, book. You guys done or what? She's the best character, and you'll respect it. Tainda. Kairam, to Yuri says a Tainda. Welp. Eh? Yeah, Arturo. 
What's going on? I still can't believe it took them over 83,000 rules to be like, hmm, maybe we should have one for when our prince is missing at some point. Oh no, it's like your over a hundred thousand rules are coming to bite you in the ass or something. Colonel, what do I do about all of these rules? They're dummy thick and keep impeding me from making progress with the prince. Why'd they make a bunch of rules that contradict each other? This is their way and their system of laws. As outsiders, we have no say in the matter. I'm going to save the prince. Oh, screw the rules. I have money. Hmm. That rule only forbids your people from entering the temple, right? Legal loopholes. Political immunity. So why not ask an outsider to save your prince? Unless they made a rule against asking outsiders to save your prince, which, to be fair, they have over a hundred thousand of them, so it's possible. Oh, and what luck! We just happen to have an outsider who can't stop meddling in the affairs of others right here. I'm going to. Fira told me about Rule 1024. You know that one, right? Rule 1024. You must honor the request of any outsider owed a debt. Oh no, we're stacking the rules deck. That's how it goes, right, Fira? Why did I ever agree to travel with such a pack of do-gooders? Let's move. Onwards. To the funny temple of... Really, really sketchy puzzles. If I remember right, some of the puzzles in the Baron Temple are kind of... Like, ridiculous. Let me show you the way. You'll need my guys to get through the sandstorm. Do 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 No one could ever possibly defeat Sandstorm. Oh, right. We we literally have to do an escort thing. Time to just kind of slowly a little faster than that. Like, this is ironically too slow, and this is too fast, so I guess we're just doing it like this. And yes, Weiss does love them. If we Weiss was unable to talk, I'm pretty sure he would explode if he was not sealed away. I mean, to be fair, he was sealed away in the first place, so that's probably why he's so chatty. Imagine just being sealed for a thousand years. He'd probably never stop talking, so you can't blame him too much. She is trying so hard. With her little tiny baby legs. I believe in you, Fyra. Bra Wait, Fyra? Bra God, pronunciation is hard. Uh, uh. We get in there. We get in there someday. I'm surprised we have not been attacked yet, actually. Also, if they can't take their masks off, how do they eat? Like, imagine trying to eat with that thing. Like, literally how? Like, it goes down too far. Okay, I get it. We can't walk in front of her because otherwise she forgets how to walk, I guess. I will guide you through the desert. Please stay close to me. I mean, I guess in addition to protecting from the sun, these masks would be amazing. Or if we're being in public? I don't think it's in public. Like... I feel like, in general, they need to have masks on. But I could be wrong about that, I haven't played this for a while. But yeah, the mask probably also helps in a sandstorm. Beware the wolves. Okay, we are under attack. Not the wolves. 
Wow, these wolves are circle strafing pretty hard. Oh right, right, now. shit, shit, right. Okay, gas, yeah, stupid wolves. This sand is too much. I can barely open my eyes. <laughs> the moment I open my mouth, the sand rushes inside. Well, do you, you do that quite often. <laughs> How does Vera deal with this? She has Perhaps a mask. There is some manner of filter inside that mask of hers. She is also highly wind resistant, it seems. She gives zero fucks. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings. Hi, wolf. Wait, what? Come on, I aimed right for it, even. Yeah, I should just stick to magic, because otherwise they're gonna lead me too far away. It also helps that Kaini's so very good at her own magic stuff, so... Unlocked the Fighting Wolves tutorial! Yes, you heard that right. There is a tutorial for fighting wolves. Truly the most dangerous opponent, wolves. Fira sure is brave, isn't she? For such a minuscule body, she seems to possess almost boundless stores of energy. She's got that spiral energy in her. Row, row, fight the power. Make your little mask a drill that can pierce the heavens. Oh, she's moving along, though. She is trying her best. For what she lacks in speed, she makes up for in determination. Or she's just doing the typical cross-country runner thing where you don't, like, go all out and you just try to conserve your stamina while going as fast as you can otherwise. She understands how long this will be. The answer is yes. Many long. Very desert. Like, we can't even tell where the quest is supposed to end because she is the quest marker. Wolves! There's a landmark, at least. You see, wolves is quite easily when you can just use homing missiles. There we go. We have defeated all wolves. Wolves eradicated. This girl must possess extreme patriotism. Look how she gives all for the sake of her prince. Much sand indeed. I hate the sand. It's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. Ugh. That reminds me, if I ever do movie nights, I need to do the Star Wars prequels because holy crap, they are so bad. Like, they're so bad they're good, which is perfectly fine, but still. Like, they're... Like, if you look through, like, a meme compilation of Star Wars, like, 70% of it is the prequels. And, like, 25% of it is the new trilogy, and 5% is the original. Hi, Jiso. You just managed to miss us going through the desert. We are now going to a funny puzzle temple. We are going to be in this temple for a while. This is as far as I Thanks can go. Thanks for your help. It's okay, I will brave the funny puzzle temple on my own. That will prove no issue. Clearly, nothing could possibly go wrong here. A new secret recipe, oh my. This is probably the most convoluted dungeon that I can remember, so we'll see how it goes. Because we've got our funny sealed doors. And our funny puzzle rooms, otherwise. Oh, is this the one with the lasers? Oh no. What was that supposed to mean? 
Okay, it's not the dodge for one. You can't jump, though, is the problem. <laughs> so we can't just jump over the boxes because of the rule. Okay. Do I actually need those to dodge the stuff, though? Doesn't seem like it. But I can't go around there, either. Hmm. Oh, wait. Okay, I see what I need to do. And yes, this game is very pretty. Now it's been, like, upgraded. Quote-unquote. We just need to block this off so we can actually push the other block, though. So this is not nearly as hard as I remember, but this is also like the first room, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, we did it. We have defeated puzzle room number one. Oh, Master of the Trial, it's time to vote yourself to the next rule. Ah, what a bother. I wonder what this prince is like. The man is tasked to protect his people, and yet he's made them toil to save Wait, him. Wait, can we go through this door? I think that tells us oh. everything we need to know. It will not open. Good enough. See you again. That he is an incompetent fool. Good enough. Did I just hear someone? Oh, okay, the door doesn't seal itself. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure there's no other option to go through. But yes, finding this missing prince will take... Oh, never mind, he's right there. Also, where is your mask, child? Where did you come from, boy? Wait, seriously? But you're just a kid. Tsutsuki! Tato Skechi! Leiji! Also, it is very echoey in here. What? It's probably taking you away for not wearing your mask, you little shit. Like, you already broke, like, rule number 12. What do you think was gonna happen? Station it. wait. Well, that was unusual. Come on! Okay, getting hit also makes you fail, so you can't get hit even once, it seems. Sorry, what now? Guess we have to play by the rules. So I'm assuming stationary L means I cannot stand still at all. Oh, Master of the Trials, time to vote yourself for the next rule. Rules, rules, rules. Nothing but rules. And these rules are not made to be broken because otherwise you just fail instantly. <laughs> Because it's just weird magic rules. Platforming. Yeah. But seriously, what kind of twisted person would design such a place anyways? Puzzle room number three. Here we go. Just a little slug. I don't know how puzzle work. I just know how to eat funny mana wars. Racing wolf, evasive mouse, magic spewing bat. What does that mean? Okay, racing wolf, evasive mouse. Okay, so I can't use magic, I can't dodge. I don't know what racing wolf is, though. Kaine, understandably <sighs> cheeked out and God angry. Damn it! This shit's starting to piss me off! <sighs> Kaine! Bye, Kaine. What in the. 
jelly oh, chomp. Are you kidding me? Let me go. Let me. I'm gonna kill you when I get out of here. <laughs> I assume we'll have to find her as well. Yep. Amazing. Oh, I can't run at all, which is a problem because auto run is on. So I just have to kind of like, wait, what? How? Even wait, what? Racing wolf, evasive mouse, magic spewing bat. Do do I have to turn off auto run? Auto sprint. Ah. Oh. Maybe that'll make it easier. Wait. Did it not? It said it did. Auto sprint off. Apply changes. Get me out of. Wait. No. Oh no, it's back to B to confirm. Get me out of here. You can't attack either, it seems. Wait, I thought I turned auto run. I'm so very confused. What am I supposed to do? Did I change my controls by accident? It's on default. Action jump. How very bizarre. Vibration on, auto sprint is off. So I guess it doesn't matter if it's on or off. I just have to. But then. Can I jump? I can jump. So there is, in theory, a solution, maybe? This is very awkward. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm... I don't understand. That jump is fine. That jump is fine. That jump was fine. Do I just have to let go of the... Wait, what? This is so inconsistent. Okay, if I jump, then let go, jump, then let go, jump, let go, maybe. Oh, oh no! Ah, God, ah, I was so close. Like, this seems to be the strat, I think. Maybe. <sighs> oh, wait, what? That didn't count as a failure? I don't understand. Okay, we're through the worst of it. Okay, that somehow worked itself out. That was rough. That was really rough. I'm not a big fan of that. So there's two doors down here and this is probably locked. Yep, figures as much. Hmm. I guess we just keep going. Oh god, no. 
That was close. Another block pushing puzzle. Oh boy, my favorite. What are the absurd rules for this one, I wonder? Protected turtle, magic spewing bat. Okay, that's fine. That was, like, the easiest one ever, not gonna lie. Okay, we've done that one. What else have we not done yet? Okay, this one's open now. What are the funny rules for this room, I wonder? How many rooms are there? I honestly forget. <laughs> Truly, the magic of Poe, that's a lot of blocks. Evasive mouse magic screen. Okay, that's fine. Oh, right, you can't dodge. Duh. But I can do everything else but dodge and magic. I can jump. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, come on. It's literally right there. There we go. Much better. It's a little concerned about that. How they kept respawning at the end. Pyrite. That is an item I have not had before. So hopefully it lets us make good stuff. Oh, the box is right. Two, three boxes. Three boxes? Three box. Four boxes. That's too many boxes for one slug. Way too many boxes. What are we going to do about that? Mm. Wait, what the fu- Blade-wielding tiger, so all magic. Shows no signs of slowing. That's Easy, fine. Vice. We need quiet or we're going to mess this up again. <sighs> These masked folks suddenly enjoy their bizarre customs. I wonder what drove them to make such complicated rules. I mean, at least this one's easy as hell. I mean, I say that, but there's still multiple boxes left to do. Oh, okay, that works out. For once, my big mouth is not getting me in trouble and contradicting me every chance it can possibly get. I'll take it. Oh, a new side passage, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's barely even in the sand. Come on. Yeah, let's not jump to our deaths. That seems very stupid. Oh, we're actually outside, it looks like. Very bright. Wait, what? Wait, can I not use the herb? Oh, okay, for some reason my X and circle have switched places when I was messing with the menu earlier. Oh well. But like, X and circle do the same thing outside of menus though, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Do I want to become famous? Not particularly. Being famous sounds kind of lame if you ask me. Let's get rid of that real quick. Pay a wish. Destroyed. Evasive mess is prohibited in this room. Oh, I used evasion by accident. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Maybe I should get my block back, or I could just use the funny spears. 
and take my hits. Otherwise... You learned Bessa. Physical strength plus four. But I already have a word that's better than that, so that's completely pointless. Also, they sure are giving a lot of health salves for some reason. A twisted ring. New materials are always good. And yes, the chonkiest follows ever. Only the, the biggest, fattest follows for this slug. Com Why am I just now getting the combo basics tutorial? And also, I cannot dodge, so this is going to be a pain in the ass if I don't hurry up. Oh, that was really easy, actually. Thanks for the elaborate machine, sucker. And that rule should be gone, so I should be able to roll now. Hooray. Oh my god, this place really does just go on forever. I don't even know where I'm going. Like, this is about as labyrinthine as it gets. Okay, we went through all these rooms, so I think I'm good, actually. And that door's still sealed. We might come back for it later in the game, maybe. Because there is nothing for it currently. This looks like a trap. Like a boss arena, even. Come on, boss arena. Boss arena. One, two, three, nothing? Really? Y you're just gonna let me go through without any issues? Okay, sure, why not? There's a save point, even. That means there probably is a boss, at least, pretty soon. Baron Temple. Hall. Yeah, this is a boss-looking place, all right. You're like, I'm the big What's bad boss, and I make all of the rules. Well, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Wow, who would have thought it was <laughs> a trap? I suppose that was to be expected. Hey, look! You have been cubed, small child. <sighs> Bye! That mewling child is inside. Without any rules to bind us, we are free to unleash the entirety of our power. Yeah, I'm surprised there's it's not more time. rules. Ah, uh, yes, Bullet Hell, my favorite. What is this thing? Wait, are the blue ones only affected by physical, maybe? They seem resistant to the magic. Or is that like a Kaine only kind of thing since she has blue I magic? magic within the glowing cubes. Yeah, no shit, Wise. Oh, I'm getting fucked. Okay, they just changed color, I guess. Weird. This is actually a pretty simple boss so far, though. All things considered. It's mostly just waiting for the cubes to actually go back to being red. Although I'm kind of eating a lot of hits, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, get back here. No! Okay, we got it. Nope, it changed colors. Come on. There we go. Get, 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 get. Oh, mindless. Okay, that was simple. It's only... Do we, do we jump down? We cannot jump down. This big boy... The guardian of this temple. It's the wacky Joy waving inflatable arm waving tube man. Ah! Is this the talking book? 
He has become Magic Cube Man. Shockwaves. Shockwaves, called it. Okay, I cannot hurt those even with physical attacks. Oh god, is this, is this just the yellow demon from Mega Man? Oh my god. Ah! You stop that. Become red. I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? Attack the regular cubes? This is a powerful foe. There you are, you bastard! Kaine! I'm gonna kill the shit out of you! Now hold still and die already! Isn't she just the best? Well, let's get on with the killing then, I guess. Although, I don't know if you can kill something that's just a bunch of magic floating cubes. Is it even truly alive? That's okay, you did your best, Kaine. We believe in you. How did you find us? Beats me. I just kicked a bunch of ass and wound up here. And okay, without vulnerable. even bothering to get dressed. Fuck off, book. Come on. Kaine, the glowing cubes take priority. Screw your priorities! I'm gonna kill this thing my way! Oh shit, that actually is doing a lot of damage. Okay, let's just... okay. I mean... I guess the non-gluing cubes are at least breakable. Oh no, now it's just that boss from Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV. Interesting. Or it's just the funny attack wall. Why are there glowy yellow? I'm a little concerned about that. Like, I guess in concept this boss is very easy, but it does a surprising amount of damage for all things are considered. Like, I wasn't expecting to use so much medicine, honestly. Why is it glowing yellow? I don't want to know why it's glowing... Whatever, it's already dead. Well, it's not dead dead, it's almost dead dead. It's running out of cubes at a very fast race. Pew 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 pew. Pepe le pew. Easy. I like how Kaine's just still attacking it even while during the cutscene. <sighs> Kaine has no time for this shit. We did it. We destroyed the cube hive mind. Now the cubes are forever defeated. The very concept of cubes destroyed. <sighs> You did it. You found your mask, little boy. What a hero. Even though you've been breaking Rule 12 the entire ah! time. Oh my god, it's just a Legend of Zelda reference, Yoko Taro! I forgot about that! Just a complete Zelda ripoff! Oh, Yoko Taro. Kaidan! Yuri, Tsusara, to Otachi! It's okay, he now has a very... Oh, it is literally a kingly mask. What a responsible little fellow. Yes, you can become all powerful, desert boy. Ura, Kotosara Tainta, Zosuro de Atta, Peruato, Kaizam Tete, Tetsawak. We now have a funny king in our pocket. Oh no. Oh, no, that's alright. We were just happy to help. 
told you. Yeah, we came here for a reason. I believe the regent has just given us an order. I guess so. In that case, how about you make rule zero? And have it say that if people don't like a rule, they can vote to change it. Ah yes, the power of democracy shall now be installed within these lands. We didn't even have to bomb anything. We just a had to blow up a bunch idea. of funny cubes. Obtain the one-handed sword, rebirth. Uh, thanks, but I think most of your praise belongs to someone else. It is still probably way weaker than our current sword, sadly. Which is the main issue with, like, the original Nier, so that there's only, like, three good weapons and the rest of them kind of suck. <laughs> okay, go kiss already, I guess, you little gremlins. Do you know how to cure the Black Scrawl? I don't know. His father died from the Black Scrawl. Do you think they know how to cure it? So soon, yo. I figured if they had a cure, they would have used it. So, even a king couldn't recover from it. Ah. It seems there is no way around it. We'll have to collect the sealed verses after all. We have to collect the Pog Champ MacGuffins. Yeah. It's the only lead we have. Even though so far every PogChamp MacGuffin has been a dark magic of indescribable power, so it's probably not going to help a whole lot. We came across an old song that says if we find them all, we can cure the Black Scrawl. And yes, we are well aware that refrains penned by minstrels half in their cups are hardly a reliable source of information. What, you mean you don't get all of your information from funny bards who are drunk? Hey, I'll believe anything if there's even a sliver of hope it could help me save Yona. Okay, go. Go jump off the nearest cliff. That'll help you save Yona. Th there's candy at the bottom. The candy will cure the disease. And I'll collect verses, orbs, crystals, magic goat meat, whatever. Ah, uh, Oh? Oh? Of course. Just try not to get yourself kidnapped again. <laughs> and yes, you gotta catch all the evil powers. If you throw enough evil powers at the darkness, clearly that will make the darkness less dark and not just more dark. Obtained dark wall magic. Oh, he apparently just had a sealed verse on him the entire time, I guess. Erect a magical defensive barrier, charged to increase the size of the wall. Hmm, that one's tempting to use because Dark Gluttony is only really okay as a counter move. Because it takes way too much magic otherwise. I'm worried about Yona. Let's go back. Oh, you can make a little bubble shield with it. That's very handy. As much as I like the sand thing, it's a bit slow for my taste. Ah, yes, the trading of special. Ah, crap, I keep forgetting that everything switched. Water Malone. But all of this is incredibly expensive, so I'm not gonna do that. Like, I only have, like, how much gold on me? 8,000? Yeah, that's hardly anything. There is a weapon shop guy, though, so I want to see if he has something new. Let's see, where was he, though? I kind of forget, actually. Oops. Let's see, that looks like a material shop. Wait, no, this might be the blacksmith. Wait, no, this is the material shop. Nope. Ah, god. Oh, no. Crystal, clay, amber, wool, wolf hide. Why the hell is wolf hide, like, almost the most expensive thing? That's crazy. That is just Ura. nonsense. Wait, are these supposed to be wolves? These look like the rats from the Germa video more than wolves. That's silly. Okay, let's see. 
food shop. Was the weapon shop on the other side, maybe? Find out soon enough. If I can actually find my way back up from here. Could you just like grab the lip of that ledge, please, my dude? No? Okay. I see. So that's how it's gonna be. Oh, there's the weapon shop. 6909. Nice. Oh no. Once again. Earthworm's Claw. It is straight up weaker. And also very heavy. Hmm. I guess I'll buy it because I think I need to buy every weapon for something later on. I don't remember if that's the case though, because I know it's the case not in Modest. If you buy all the weapons and upgrade them all, you get the secret boss, but... Item shopkeeper. General good. Uh, no, please. Like, I swear, when I was playing this yesterday, this was not the issue. Okay. Gold ore. Wait, do they buy things for less than I would have gotten otherwise? No, it seems to be the same, I think. Yeah, because we have a whole bunch of these dented metal boards I can get rid of and broken antennas. They're easy enough to farm anyway. So I'd hate having no money on me. It is a very Uran. bad feeling. Because what if something comes up and I have to buy it right then and there? What will I do? Do you have anything to say, Kaine? No, you actually literally don't have anything to say for once. How very strange. But yes, we must go back to Sea Star. We gotta do it. Let's go. But first, the wolves, they come. It's a good thing wolves, like many other things, are hilariously weak to magic. I suppose rules are rules, even if they are absurd. I don't think they're absurd. Oh? Those rules are important to the masked people. You don't say. I do. And I think it's oh, we important we respect nice. that. Well, well. The boy is beginning to sound like a man. Boy? I'm not a kid, you know. You're a Shoda, except hey, it. Less talking, more walking. You cannot escape your shodaness. Not for now, anyway. Someday, perhaps, your shodaness will go away. But it is currently terminal. We could do a hundred side quests and you would still be a little shoda boy. Also, where the heck am I going? Also, did I get a new weapon? It is also not very good. How unfortunate. I might be a little lost. Oops. That's just a little bit of a problem. Just a little bit. Itty bitty problem. Because there's the sandstorm over there, which I can't do a whole lot about. Oh, I just have to go slightly around the sandstorm. How very stupid of me. Oops. That's okay. It wasn't that big of a detour. We found a funny boat. Sadly, the funny boat had no funny treasures or anything. Oh, well. I read Mina letters every single day. He always worries about me, but I feel fine. Except for all the times I don't, like the time we need to get the fish because I was in extreme pain. 
a mushroom. Mushy, mushy. And some clay. Lizard, give me. Yes, yes. Can always use more lizard tails. Lichen. And some silver ore. All these materials that I still have nothing to do with, though. So I tried talking to the upgrade guy, and he sure isn't giving anything. And some berries. Okay, so we've done facade. I think there's the mansion left for part one. And that should be it. Yeah, little Chauncey's. Look at him go. Funny little guy. I wonder if our farming has actually borne anything yet. Because there is both farming and fishing in this game. This is, in fact, secretly a farming and fishing simulator. All of this other stuff is just optional content. Cheekons. Bok 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 bok. Bok 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 bok. I cannot water these. Is the wheat done yet? Harvest, finally! We have gained the power of nine whole wheats. Hell yeah. I have nothing to plant, though. Okay, with that... If Yona's still here... And we're all good otherwise, she can make me some funny stew. That's assuming she hasn't run off somewhere. 700 gold. Where are we getting this gold from? Oh god, Cricket is now following. Thank you for following, Cricket. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have found our sea star. Yona? Oh, hey. How are you feeling? Better, now that I'm taking the medicine you brought. Good. Um, by the way... Oh, that's okay, Cricket. Thank you for following anyway, though. Yay! Are you gonna stay here today? Aww. I'll stay. You bet. Really? You'll stay with me? Really? <laughs> yeah, Yona. I'll stay. Whatever this game is about indeed. Currently, the main objective of the game is trying to cure our sick sister. So far, that's about as far as we've gotten. Yay! Now get back to bed. Okay. Our sister we never see, because we're always off running errands to make sure our sister does not die. I hear a voice. I squinch and see a boy standing before me. His hair is silver, his skin is pale, and he stares up at me with hard, glassy eyes. Soon his lips begin to move, but no sound comes out. What is he saying? I can't hear him, I can't hear him, I can't hear him, I can't hear him, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, can't. I try to leave, but something about the boy holds my gaze. Oh, is this the tree part? I watch his face, expressionless, as his lips slowly flutter. What is he trying to say? Wait, it's a phrase. I can almost make it out. It starts with an S. Then there's an E. I can almost see it now. The letters begin to fall together, one after the other, faster and faster. Sealed verse. It's a sealed verse. The thing I am looking for, the key to saving my sister. I stare at the boy with renewed ferocity, trying desperately to make out his next word. Dream. Dream? What? What the hell does that mean? Yeah, Yoko Taro is kind of fucking insane, so enjoy this. We are now a text RPG adventure. I hope you enjoy. The lips move again, faster now. I can't follow them. Damn it, I can't make it out. I want to scream. I want to tear the walls down around me. But instead, I force myself to be calm. I can do this. I can do it for Yona. Slowly, ever so slowly, I parse out the letters that make up his final words. Forest of Myth.
the next morning. But I forgot, in addition to the mansion, there is the forest tree. Nonsense. Just a dream. Even in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed versus. Morning. M morning, Yona. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? No, I just... I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Because I had a dream too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up because I never heard of it before. How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. What a very mysterious dream. It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. You're taking it awfully well, though. So what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. Oh no, it's a spooky shared dream. We all had the same dream. But don't worry. I'm gonna study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime, too. Sure, Yona. We'll play a game, sister. The game is called, like, Prevent You From Dying, and it's happy. Yay. Hey, Yona, I got your ingredients. Yay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get started right now. Time for Mystery Stew X. Yona, wait. Uh... Boiling's probably the bigger not issue. To boil it too long, okay? Come on, I never forget that. I mean, big pieces of meat you can just work I around. Most of the ingredients, but the chunks of meat are so big, I don't think they. Oh to no! Throw. Eat up, okay? Sh sure, Yona. It looks um great. Come tomorrow, Yona's not gonna be the only one here who's sick. F. I mean, to be fair, if we picked the other option, it would probably just be, like, undercooked anyway, so... Say, next time you go out, could you pick something up for me? Sure. Sure, Yona. What do you need? Um, a melon. A melon? A melon? You got it. That's it? A melon? Don't forget the melon. Gotta get that melon. Something troubling you, lad? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, I need to go ask Popola something. We should ask Popola something. Also, I remembered I don't actually have a VRX back screen currently since all the things got erased, so... I'm going to take a quick break and be right back. Don't go anywhere.
and we're back. There we go. Okay. We must go find out what is wrong. We must go talk to both the note back. There we go. We did it. We have survived the whopping two minutes that took. Yeah. We haven't been to the library for a while, though. Like, we kind of just spent several days outside. Oh, thanks, Cal. It is good to be back. But yeah, we haven't been in the library for like a week, it feels like, because we kind of just ran between like three different dungeons without coming back here, really. Hmm. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I just got a strange letter in the mail. Dearest Popola, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing in hopes of bringing to your attention a certain dream issue of concern regarding recent events in Dream the Village. I was hoping I might be dream able to get your advice dream on the matter. Recently there have been dream reports dream dream of a certain dream. Dream dream, dream of dream, dream dream, dream evil, dream dream dream. Dream, empty, dream, curse, dream, 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 evil, dream, 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 words, dream, 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 and dream, 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 someone, dream, 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 dream. I forgot how goofy this gets. That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the Forest of Myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. I have a bad feeling about this. You don't say. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. I've got dream business. Dream. What'd you, you do if you could dream what dream with? A dream could dream would do dream. I forget where the forest... Oh, I mean, at least there's a handy marker there, so it's not that big of a deal. Medicinal herb. I need a billion of those, because I'm pretty sure I used most... Oh, nope, I'm actually pretty good on those. Never mind. I wish I could meet the Kaine lady Mino told me about. I bet she's really nice and always says nice things. Oh, honey. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> Kaine is not really big on saying nice things, but it's nice to think that you think she's nice. Time for tactical board drifting. Do 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 like, it took me, like, five to ten minutes to fight the boar to even ride them in the first place. Here we are. The Forest of Myth. You can tell it's mythical because there's funny little sprites floating around, and they definitely aren't just, like, you know, glow bugs or anything. Lightning it bugs? It sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way. I'm certain of it. You know, Such a cheek. little optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Such cheek. Why is he run so fast? He doesn't have time to sit around and smell the roses, G, so he has a sister to save. She has a fatal disease. We cannot let it continue. Antidotal weed. 420, baby. The f tree has a door. How mysterious. Is there anything else in here? Um, hello? Real bright and cheerful, Popola. Well, that's concerning. And I think that's really all there is here. It's just these few villagers. Hi there. Okay, bye. Vice clutches his pearls, indeed. Mm. 
Okay, can you at least talk? Beware. Bearware? Oh no, that's a very strong, intimidating Pokemon. Beware. The words. The words? What do you mean? Contagious words. Oh no, quickly, we must flee before we end up in the plot of Metal Gear Solid 5. Those who dream. Those who dream? We already had a dream, it's too late for us. Hold a moment. There is a strange new sensation in my mind. Vice's voice rose in a quizzical it way. It is not quizzical. <laughs> What's going on? The villager's body shuddered as he slowly opened his Perhaps eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. The mayor stared at Mino and Vice. If you can speak to me. I must have caught you in my dream. And now it is too late. In your dream? The mayor explained, in the past weeks, a mysterious disease called the Death Dream had spread across the forest of myth. Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor determined the Death Dream was spread from person to person by spoken words. But before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Vice stared at the mayor, his mouth twitching now slightly. see here. Are He's... you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes. I think you have. In other words, we've caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm Mino's suspicion, Vice exploded with rage. Ridiculous. Preposterous. Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. Don't ask me shit. It's magic. I don't know how to explain how it works. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. The mayor twisted his mouth into an embarrassed grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Mino had seen, and what they had discussed since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation. A specific word. Something. Enjoy your text adventure. Mino and Vice racked their brains but could find no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter, too many meaningless conversations. As is befitting of a delivery boy, and yet Death Dream does indeed sound rad as fuck. Grimoire Vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. Vice, that's like all you do. The mere suggestion that Vice chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gasbag of a narrator. <laughs> it has demolished it utterly. <laughs> Irritated, Vice looked skyward as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to Mino like a contagion. Wait, said Mino suddenly. Did someone just say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, the villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor leaned forward with renewed interest, pushing a startled voice aside for the process. He must have said something, right? Asked the mayor. Some specific combination of words? What was it? It was about dreaming, or something that dreams, or... Oh, what the hell was it? A sheep? cried Vice suddenly, blurting out the first thing that popped into his head. And yes, arguing with the narrator is the best, but now we're just fully in text RPG land. This is gonna be like a solid hour if I remember right, so buckle up. The others stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few more minutes of thought, Mino's face suddenly lit up. I remember, he said. Those who dream, that's what he said. I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval at Mino. That sounds right, he said as a stray sheet of paper floated to the ground. My notes also mentioned something about that. I thought it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his worn pencil stub tracing lines across a lone piece of paper. 
For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call Death Dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect people from whatever comes along. I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. The mayor paused, a grimace crossing his face. I shall probably be taking notes or something. Vice immediately fired back. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, he said. But perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it? The mayor's hand tied around his pencil, snapping off the tip. I've tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I've been looking for a way out, but I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was an exit, I'd know about it. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eyes staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said to no one in particular, and it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things... changed. It's like someone took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. I just want us to be whole again. I want us to be... free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Mino nodded in agreement. Huh? Wait a second. I didn't nod. Look, if we can be of any help, said Mino, just ask. Now hold on, I did not just say that. Silence, cried Vice. The Grimoire looked from Mino to the mayor and back again, his face filling with confidence. Grimoire Vice's face is always confident, thank you very much. Now see here, Mayor, you told us that nothing can exist in this dream without your knowing of it. But yet you seem surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? The Mayor slowly raised his head, realization dawning on his face. Oh my god, he said. You're right. You're right! I had no idea you were coming! That's what she said. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Vice. And dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know how I can repay you. Payment is not required. We are as eager as you to be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He'd almost forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two, he called at the departing forms of Mino and Vice. We're all counting on you. As Mino slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this man once before, he thought, but where? Mino's mood darkened as he trudged through the forest. Hours earlier, when the beauty of the place was still a new thing, he'd been confident they could get in, find the exit, and be home in time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed in around him. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction and moss-covered rocks seemed determined to twist his ankle. More than once he'd been forced to steady himself on the rough bark of a tree, and his hands now left small trails of blood on everything he touched. Additionally, Vice was proving to be a spectacularly poor traveling companion. Unhindered by either terrain or physical other, he spent most of his time urging Mino to pick up the pace and grumbling about their slow progress. Finally, after Vice muttered something about legless turtles being more adept at navigating the environment, Mino snapped. Okay, Vice, cram it for a second, would you? You don't have to walk! Mino leaned against a tree and tried to stretch the knots from his back. How can the stupid forest be so big? He muttered to himself. The moment the words tumbled from his mouth, a cacophony of insects sprang to life. Every imaginable form of buzz, click, and hiss roared out at a volume that rattled his teeth. Mino slapped his hands over his ears and screamed to be heard, Vice! What's going on? Mino could see Vice's mouth moving, but he may as well have been shouting in a tornado. The insects screamed, the forest howled, everything went, <coughs> And then, just as Mino's ears seemed ready to tear from his head and go running for cover, the sound diminished. Hesitantly, he moved the hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of the woods. Oh my god. Woo-hoo-ma, what the fuck? Woo-hoo-ma. 
Shik, 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 <laughs> As the insect symphony dimmed another decibel, Mino began to detect patterns in the sound. This isn't random, he thought. It's not just white noise. It's something else. Is it Morse code? The insects weren't call just calling out. They were asking a question. <laughs> yes, wooma, woomy. One with it is lacking. Two with it is ideal. Three with it is dangerous. What is it? By my pages, is this a riddle? I guess so. I mean, it feels sort of forced, but maybe it's the key to getting out of this place. And I leave it to you to answer. One with it is lacking. Two with it is ideal. Three with it is dangerous. What is it? The answer is... A secret? A seesaw? Or how should I know? Let's see, one secret is lacking, two is ideal, three are dangerous. I'd say probably a secret instead of a seesaw. I don't think three seesaws are any more dangerous than two. Inwardly furious that Vice left the task to him, Mino sighed and gave the only answer that made sense. It's a secret, er, right? The sound of insects stopped as suddenly as it began. The forest undergrowth parted before Mino like a rippling wave, opening a new path. These forest arthropods are making a road for us, said Vice with glee. The answer is skebs. Yes, three skebs is very dangerous. Only two. It's like the rule of the Sith. Only two must there be. No more. Pleased at passing the test, Mino moved on with new intensity. The path fathered his body relief from the undergrowth, but gave even greater cheer to his mind. As long as they were on a path, their journey had a purpose. I guess the forest has accepted us, huh? said Mino after a bit. Vice spun around to face his companion. Do not mistake the will of this forest for some happy pet you can suddenly befriend. We have no idea where this path leads. As Vice finished speaking, the pair turned a corner and found themselves facing a clear forest spring. Smiling, Mino picked up a small rock and sent it skipping across the surface of the water. Good heavens, said Vice. His surprise was understandable. Each time the rock struck the surface of the water, a musical note rang out. When the rock finally stopped moving and sank to the bottom of the spring, the ripples it left behind came together to form words. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Absurdly easy, barked Vice. Now answer it. Mino grit his teeth and tried not to reach out and strangle his companion. He's right, after all. This one is pretty easy. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Sunlight, obviously. Sunlight. A plume of water suddenly burst from the spring. Sunlight filtered through the trees and reflected off the plume, creating a shimmering rainbow that spanned the entire horizon. In all my years, said Vice softly, I have never seen such a sight. Perhaps I have misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey, look, cried Mino, awakening Vice from his daze. There's a house or something over there. Glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Vice saw a small cottage nestled among the trees. That's weird, isn't it, Vice? I mean, who would build a house all the way out here? Mino walked over and pounded on the door. After a minute of solid banging, oh my. The door cracked open and a small man peered out. His body was cloaked from neck to toe in a large black cape, while his face was obscured by mist. Um, began Mino. But before he could get any further, the cloaked man held up a hand and began speaking. Oh, God damn it! I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but in the night with three. What am I? Mino tried to ask the cloaked man who he was and what he was doing there, but he simply repeated the question. If we wish to engage this man in conversation, said Vice, it seems we must answer his riddle. Yeah, I suppose, said Mino. Well, at least it's an easy one. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but in the night with three. What am I? A man. 
The mist dissolved from the cloaked figure as he spoke a single word. Correct. With that, the man flung his garment aside, revealing his true identity. You're, you're the mayor, cried Mino. The small man slowly shook his head. I am not the mayor you know. Now listen to my words. Long ago, I saw a version of you that was not yourself. Ah, uh, sorry. What's that mean? It will make sense in time. At present, I simply congratulate you on cracking the seal of the Death Dream. Now you must go to the person at the forest entrance. With that, the man turned on his heel and slammed the door behind him. As Mino watched, mist seeped up from the ground and enveloped the cottage, erasing it from existence. When Mino and Vice returned to the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning against a tree. As soon as he caught sight of the duo, he sprang to his feet and scrambled over to them. Good gravy, he cried. You made it. You actually made it back. His left hand grasped Mino's and pumped it so fiercely it turned to dislodge from the socket, while his right hand seemed Vice by the cover and swung him through the air. Gah! By the heavens! Stop shaking me, fool! We have not even told you if we were successful or not. The mayor smiled broadly and shook his head. I'm just happy you're alive. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Mino withdrew himself from the mayor's eager handshake with a slight smile. We broke the Death Dream seal, he said. At least, I think we did. The mayor's face beamed as Mino filled him in on the details. When the tale was done, the three of them laid down on the forest ground and fell asleep. Mino cocked his head. Okay, hang on a second. This is crazy. Why don't we just lay down and go to sleep? Seize ya, endless prattle, and go to sleep, fool. Fighting against the rules of this place is futility itself. Mino and the mayor obediently reclined atop the grassy earth. Have you forgotten, continued Vice, it is words that control the death dream, words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter how unnatural they seem, the words are absolute. Therefore, if the words tell us to sleep, then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. Just a little sweepy, just a little sweepy baby. With that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, their breath slowing. This is the first time, began the mare. The first time I felt tired since I was imprisoned here. His words were cut off by a loud, long yawn, and he remembered nothing more. I might have slept for an hour or a year. When they awoke, things had a slightly more real quality to them. The mist felt thicker, the leaves greener. It was clear that they had awakened from their dream. Mino shook the mayor's shoulder gently. Good news, he said. I think we made it. Oh, wow, said the mayor in an odd voice. We did. I'm back, he blinked once. And then again, as if not quite believing the sight before him. You do have no idea how much this means. The death dream was spreading through our village, and I wanted to... Well, I thought I could figure out how to stop it. But I guess that wasn't the case. I must have caught the disease and become trapped in my own dream. The mayor started to stand then collapsed back to Earth. He stared at his legs as if trying to remember how they worked, then glanced at Mino and shrugged. Without a word, the young man reached down and pulled the mare to his feet. Real life may take some getting used to, said the mare as her eyes swile across his lips. You shall relearn in short order, I am sure, said Vice, for now you shall return to your home and rest. No, said the mare, swaying on unsteady feet. No, I can't. Some of the villagers are still trapped in the Death Dream, and I have to save them. The mayor slowly made his way to the divine tree in the center of the village, and then bowed his head and prayed silently. This is a holy tree, he explained when the prayer is finished. It's the guardian of our village's history, and memories. Superstition will only make our mission harder, muttered Vice. We should not put our faith in the gods. The mayor shook his head. Not the gods, the words. Legend says that our tree is home to a powerful magic known as a sealed verse. Mino and Vice could not contain their surprise. It seemed a goal had been found in the most unexpected of places. I say, muttered Vice, this is certainly a stroke of luck. 
As the three of them said their goodbyes, Mino mentioned the strange man who had given them the third riddle, and the mysterious words he had left them with. I once saw a version of you that was not yourself, muttered the mayor. What in the world does that mean? Lost in thought, he stared into space for a long moment. You know, he said softly, this is going to sound odd, but I had a feeling that I'd seen you before too. Mino tried to keep a straight face and failed, but the mayor didn't seem to notice. Deja vu, right? Anyway, I figure it's just some kind of illusion created by the death dream. It probably doesn't mean anything. Mino gave the mayor a nod and a smile, but inwardly his thoughts were racing. There's something wrong about the mayor and his words. What exactly is going on here? That riddle would prove to be the most difficult one of all. Oh, thank you so much. Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. Obtained a sealed burst. Obtained dark execution magic. Summon magical spikes from the ground to impale your enemies. Charge to increase the number of spikes. I think For a I will. Burst, that didn't take much effort. Yes, all a touch too easy, if you ask me. That was not easy. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. As funny as Dark Wall is, I usually just dodge things anyway, so execution it is. I'm concerned. This person must be dreaming too. It would appear that way, yes. I'm gonna hold off on that because my throat will probably explode if I try. And another victim. Hmm. I wonder. Nah, we'll hold off on that. Just a little bit. Although... Do those side quests go away after a point? I'm not sure. Hmm. Truly puzzling. So how was the village? Uh, wordy. Oh, it was truly magnificent. There are no words. Really. <laughs> huh. Neat. Let's get back to Popola. She'll probably want to know what's going on in there. Let's leave this place and never return. Got a Tokyo Drift on our board, my dudes. Brrrr. Gotta love boar drifting. I did not think that would take such a toll on my voice. I forgot how long it was, honestly. But there will be more of that later, so I should be careful. Because there's the side quest. I'm pretty sure you don't want to just look at a side quest for like another half an hour and my voice disappears entirely. Be a little rough. Like, the noises were pretty funny, but other than that, it was quite an endurance run. The death dream certainly is a strange illness. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. That's one hell of a critique when even Vice doesn't want to go back. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. 
Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? The work probably won't happen for a while. But once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. More farming simulator shenanigans. Yay! Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? Oh boy, back to Seafront I'll again. I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder. So, he should be easy enough to find. Got it. Oh yeah, Seafront's probably screwed now, considering how many sh sh Shadow Shade Boys were outside earlier. Oh well. What can you do? We can't be everywhere at once. That's literally impossible. A canal, is it? Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. Don't you just float everywhere anyway? Do you think I am borne aloft by the winds, lad? It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh, really? You could at least try to hide the utter dismay, you know. Imagine being stuck as a buck. Wouldn't be me. Excuse me, have you seen the old man who lives here? You mean Granddad? He passed away. His heart finally gave out on him. Oh man, looks like he went with his best friend after all. Dead dog time. Here, hold on a second. His dog had this leaf in his mouth when we found him. That's the herb Granddad used for his heart medication. Max must have been fetching it for him. Well, I suppose I owe you a great deal. I can't give you much, but I hope you'll accept this. That sure is a lot of background noise. For real? Oh god, Ryuji's in this game. Such a faithful animal. You think Max and Granddad are together in heaven? I do. I'm sure of it. We have completed the dead dog quest. F. Excuse me, but have you seen my son? I don't think so. Why? Is something wrong? You look like some weird politician, but I can't quite put my finger on it. When I got home, I found a note from him that said he was leaving and not to look for him. What if he's left the village? He's probably left the Please, village. you have to help me. I'll pay you whatever you want. My son shouldn't be too hard to spot. He wears a very odd hat. You can see it from a mile away. Poor doggy, indeed. Okay. If I see him, I'll let him know his father is worried about him. Well, considering the recent trend of things being lost being dead, his son is also probably dead, sadly. <laughs> Because Nier is not a happy game. It is very, very much not a happy game. Everything goes to shit. Oops. There's the boss. The boss is here. Die, boss man. We will have our revenge from last time. We did it. We have defeated the evil, for now. 
Did the evil drop any items? The evil has dropped jack shit. What a waste of time. <laughs> oh well. Actually, can we just be a boar nearby? There we go. Come on. Boar drifting. Yeah. Oh god. Ow. That's okay. We still good. We just gotta go to sea for is all. If I remember right, last time we were here, we helped that old lady with stuff. Also, I need to turn that off because it keeps going ba bing ba bing ba bing. Sorry about that. Okay, and we back. Good, good. Hello. You look like an Assassin's Creed, you do. Um... Hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh god, it's over. My life is over! <sighs> Game over, man. Game over. Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so... Are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? What is this voice acting? What the fuck? Wow, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Er, uh, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. It is indeed amazing in its own special way. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. But, but are they? Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. Okay, that's a little more special, actually. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Just stay calm. We'll go look for her, alright? You sit tight. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Hey there, I'm, uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here either. Though come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Oh no, our, well, our warning. Join me for a round. Or three. Oh no, she's trying to get you, Shota Boy. Run away while you still can. Uh... Sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Voila! One bowl of our local specialty, sardine pasta. Eh, that sounds disgusting. Voila! I could have sworn I had a side quest here, though. Oh, I'm missing a lizard tail. Oh, well. So much for that. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? Alright, thanks for your time. 
Well, considering everything else... If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. She probably has, considering they're kind of all over the damn place now. Oops. It's almost like going outside is very life-threatening these days. So, I guess we just kind of meander along a bit? There's no point in going to the funny mansion yet either, I don't think. Because all there is here is just very, very nasty looking spiders. Earning money- wait, the earning money tutorial is on a spider? What? Giant spider silk. Wait, where am I supposed to go now? Plus... I'm all quests I'm complete. I think these are just the side quests, though. So I'm honestly not sure. Oh, there's a little guy. Hmm. Something about that shade seems rather odd. Well. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, look at this. It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. Oh no. Do you think the Shades got her? I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Well, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth. Hello, guy who we want your cooperation with. Your wife is freaking dead. Have fun making that canal. <laughs> oh, hmm. Uh, gotta go save the world while letting everybody die. Oops, it's us, the Shoda boy. Uh. F in the chat for your red bag lady, indeed. But when you think about it, it's even worse. Hey! Did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a of shade. You handed over the red bag. Oh no! This... this is hers! So our fears were correct. Oh god. How could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. I'm kind of curious, actually. If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because... Because I... <laughs> I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. Honey, I'm home! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dumpling! Wait, what? You're not dead! What in the world are you talking about? Oh, oh, you found my bag. Thank oh, you so okay. much. It, it's it's not as bad as I thought like it was. Oh, this is such a relief. <laughs> okay, seriously. What's going on? So, that was a misunderstanding. I see. So, you found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot! One, your voice acting is amazing as ever. Two, an apple? This was over an apple? Are you kidding me? Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. 
You just promised never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Uh... Are you... Really? Mm -hmm. I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week. <laughs> Remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um... <laughs> Yes, oh Pog, someone lived indeed. Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. Uh, I'm curious though. I can't believe you didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. I need to see this man get beat down as he deserves. You are the absolute worst! What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang onto your bag. You, kid. Oh, no. I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? Okay, maybe he had the right idea. Now we're screwed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, you're asking me? Uh, sorry, dude, but, like, losing a bag's a common thing. It wasn't a conscious decision, I don't think. Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. And I'm really whiny. Can it? Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. Uh-oh. Did I cross a line there? Would you rather me disagree with the wife who was one, right, and two, would probably kick my ass? I don't think so. Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Oh god, what have I gotten us into? Ha! You're damn right I did, and I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob! You there! My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, but madam, I oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Good talk for a floating magazine. Ah, uh, snap. I see you finally agree on something. Okay, that was worth it, as stupid as that was. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? This is exactly what I hate about you! Oh. Oof. Fine! Hate me! I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you! Y you could just, like, apologize, my dudes. Just stop, please. Vice, what do I do? You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. That's it! I have had enough! Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband! Uh, actually, I have a job now. Wait, you what? <sighs> You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> That's great! This is... this is... this is something, that's for sure. Well, I sort of wanted it to be <laughs> a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. That... that was a thing that happened. Let's never speak of it again. I have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. Well, looks like they made up, so... All's well that ends well? In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh, heck, the canal! We need to ask him about the canal! Yeah, that's kind of important. And yes, silly Billy. I need to whip up a treat to... Okay, just canal, please. Oh yeah, I need to get a melon while I'm here. Care for some imported fruits and vegetables? 
One. Oh god, that's so expensive. Thanks for your business. What do we do? I love the breezes that blow through here. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. Yeah, if you're going on about being unemployed, do your damn job, please. All right, that's why you came here in the first place, huh? Yes, that, that, that's what, yes. Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. P pl please do. Let's... Heavens, we... that was exhausting. Mm. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. Let's give Popola the condensed version, because that sure was a ride. Oof. Hmm. The couple with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. Oh no, Grimoire Vice is gonna be Dad getting cigarettes, oh no. Also, this guy has a chance of dropping really good stuff, so I'm gonna go kill him again. Also, he doesn't even always show up. Like, sometimes he just isn't here, so I might as well do it while I still can. Ooh, that was close. And it's not like he's that hard to beat. Got him. Did he not drop anything again? Aw, oh, come on. Apparently the drop rate just is that low, I guess. Because I need stuff from him to upgrade my current sword. I guess it's another thing I'll just have to grind off stream or something. Oh well. I'm trying to see if I can at least get to part two though. It's not impossible. I just have to schmove it. Roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and is this actually any faster? I don't know. Probably not. Oh god, please okay, good. Today was awesome. Popola made me this huge cake that was really yummy. And everyone in the village has been wishing me happy birthday. It's fun. I feel like a princess or something. I don't feel sick at all today, in fact. I almost forgot I had this disease. So maybe you can forget about it too and come back home now. C c congratulations Oni-chan. You missed her birthday. You feel good about yourself? Oops. That's uh, really sad. You were off getting in an argument with a couple and missed a birthday. What a good brother you are. Clearly a prime example. What a role model. Oh well. Can't do anything about that now. Goodness. It sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out alright. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Hey, wait! Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. 
Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Pobla. Not only that, we need to give her that really expensive melon we got. <laughs> that melon was worth at least an entire side quest. I hope it tastes amazing. Like, it is so hard to actually get gold unless you're, like, selling, like, robot scrap, honestly. The side quests are not worth it most of the time, it feels like. Like, oh boy, here's a thousand gold here and there. <laughs> totally worth it, right? Or I could just, like, farm robots for, like, a minute and already have way more than that. Or... Conveniently just find 700 gold in a house. How convenient indeed. Why even bother with side quests at this point? Yay! You're back! Popola said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I hope it's nothing too weird. I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. You're... Friend? Yep, I have a friend. And oh, this might be the mansion part. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. If that's the case, that means we should be pretty close, actually, because I think all that's left is the mansion and then part two. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kinda... He? It's a guy? You're going to bed soon, but first, what is it, Jisoo? Bully you. Oh, Jisoo, 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 Jisoo. You've been taking so long to rig your model, one would have to wonder if you'll ever actually debut and come out. Always hiding, just going on collabing with other streams. How pathetic. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Okay, I can't really bully you too hard, though, because I still feel grateful that you helped considering things that happened with Grandma and stuff, so... Sorry, <laughs> that's all you get for now. sick and in a whole lot of trouble we have nothing but sick kids in this game and i know that you and vicey are the only ones who can help him oh vicey vicey tell me about this guy <laughs> oh no protective oni chan no guys allowed he lives in this really big house down south and he's super nice and he's my friend so you have to help him please yona listen please great now what do I do? Be a good big brother. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! Good night. I will try to have fun with the stream, Jisoo. It's been pretty good Please so far, I think. And we're almost to the actual climax. Well, the climax for the time being. Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. I, I don't think that's how that works, but okay. There's something amiss, lad. Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't. Shut up! Silly Shota boy. You can't just keep your sister to yourself. That's creepy. Oh, thank you very much, Jisoo. And on that note, I will once again be right back, because I guess I've been hydrating way too much from reading all of those words earlier. Bomp bomp.
And we are back. We get to meet somebody that if you've played Automata, you should be very familiar with soon. Hooray. In fact, I think he's the only recur- and actually no, he's not the only recurring character. There's three of them, and we've already met two of those. It just isn't as obvious because they're still acting normal for the time being, to say the least. But yes, once again, we must go off to the funny, funny seafront. And by seafront, I mean the mansion by the seafront with all the spooky spiders. That's a lot of little boys. Oh, that's many of them. Indeed. At least Kaine's nice enough to help us out over here. So How can these creatures let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? Oh, there's a lot more than this usual. This is hardly what one would call especially fertile ground. This guy, Big Chungle. Like, I actually get hit, I'll probably die in like two. He's also the only giant shade in this part of the game, so I guess I gotta do what I have to. I got leather boots. I don't care about leather boots. Ah, that's... Hmm. Oh well. I tried. One of these days we'll get that item. But it is not leather boots that I need, it is machine parts. What is with all the shades around here? Yeah, try to block from below, punk. Oh, he got him killed right into the tree, that's rough, buddy. Guard break, that's a pretty good one. Onwards we go to the Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Oh, come on. You know what, I don't even need to deal with these small fry. Get out of my way. Instead, we will fight spiders. Nothing but spooky spider boys. Oh, I guess they're gonna keep following me whether I like it or not. I used... Wait, I used... Oh. Why do they have... Oh, no. They, they killed small children, apparently. They used coloring book. Oh, that thing's still alive. Wait, you can finish the... There's an execution move? What? Huh. That was pretty brutal. But yeah, no, those little guys are carrying around coloring books for some reason. That's not foreboding or anything. Also, all the color has left the area. What could be going on here? We have been waiting for you, sirs. Please, right this way. How did you know we were coming? This isn't suspicious at all. Not suspicious in the slide. Man, this place is so cool. Oh, I can't even dodge roll or anything. I can attack, though. And magic still. Hmm. Uh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Come on. Where, where am I supposed to? 
Oh, I can just go into the rooms. So I don't have to wait for him necessarily. That's good to know. Please wait here. I am very bad at that waiting part. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? I agree, Kaine. Waiting is a bitch. Can we progress further? I wonder. Just follow directions. What if I said no? We found a kitchen. It's a very modern looking kitchen for some reason. A little too modern looking. It's kind of weirding me out a little bit. And yes, Kaine is indeed an entire mood. Everyone wishes they too could be Kaine, except for the part where she's half shade. Oops. The keyhole marked darkness here. Oh god, we are just in Kingdom Hearts. We can never escape. I do not like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? The portraits are in color, but everything else isn't. <laughs> Do they follow you with their eyes? Does not seem to be the case. Here's a door. Uh, perhaps we should head back, yes? <sighs> Heading back is for cowards. We press onwards. Whoopsie poopsie, indeed. We are just going all over the place. There's a keyhole marked moon here. Don't think there's much else I can do here, then. Hmm. Like, it's really weird that they force you to walk, but you can still do all of your attacks and everything else just fine. Also, I really wish I had a map for this place, because I'm going to get lost. I can just feel it. Was this the door that had darkness? Yes, this is the word that... Yes, the word, not the door, the word that had darkness, clearly. Okay, we've done many an investigation, hey, and... where'd Kaine go? Where do you think Kaine went? She probably had the same idea. idea. Haunted manners and the like. Oh, why does no one ever listen to me? If anything, I'm more surprised that Kaine decided to, like, lie down and sit still for any length of time. It's Kaine we're talking about. But yes, Yoko Taro sure likes his weird, funny area design. First we have visual novel, now we have funny, time-frozen, can't-run mansion. We might as well just be Resident Evil at this point. Oh my god, the camera angles. This is a homage to Resident Evil, isn't it? I completely forgot. Like, even, like, the entrance and everything. It's locked. Oh. We're locked in here. That's not foreboding or anything. Wait, there's a box over here that is in color. And they dropped nothing. What's... Hmm. And we can't go upstairs because it's clearly blocked. I'm kind of at a loss, actually, as to where to go now. Wait, can I move faster just by attacking a bunch? That's ridiculous. Yeah, attacking just makes me move faster. That's that's amazing. That's so stupid. Is there another door further down this way, though? Nope, there's just a bunch of boxes that are, for some reason, indestructible. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. I am not sure. I guess we'll just keep wandering around until something happens. Oh wait, this is where we were before. I see. So nothing's necessarily blocked off, you just have to go the other way around. Help! Someone get me out of here! Oh. 
Okay, then. Well, he's not in the kitchen, whoever that dude was. Spooky. Spooky, ooky, pump, pookeen. We still don't have the darkness keyhole. What's this? The picture has changed. So it has. Uh, uh, that's not creepy at all. There's the moon door. I think one of these two were actually able to be entered, though. Oh god, that's bright. That's so bright. Ow. We're outside? In a courtyard. Oh, it looks like it's in pain. It's kind of scary. Y yes. Y come now. Brave faces. Uh, onward and upward, eh? Who knew that a book could get scared so easily? Y yes. That's okay, though. This is progress, if nothing else. You've obtained the hidden items tutorial. Wait, what? Why are so many tutorials just, like, randomly hiding around? Nope. Got... No, not weapon stories. Tutorials. Other... Hidden items. Sparkling points are bright. Why are you just now giving me that tutorial? We've been doing that the entire game. Like, nothing has changed. This is totally a Resident Evil mansion. We obtained the mo Oh my god. It even has different keys. Like, instead of, like, the spade key and stuff, it's just the moon key and the darkness key. How did I not notice this before? This is, like, as Resident Evil as you could possibly make an area. Like, even the courtyard reminds me of the Resident Evil mansion. Except normally there's, like, dogs trying to kill you here instead of, like, frozen people. Okay, the moon key was down this way, I think. Shades! Oh, what and there's shades. Hole did they crawl from? And I cannot dodge. I cannot dodge. Dodge is not an option. Oh boy. Ooh, experience rate plus four. Hell yeah. Give me that. Word edits. Weapons. Where is it? Rebirth. Or Beastbane. Equipped best words. No, I want the one that gives me attack power, though. I don't care about guard break that much. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should do guard break, because attack power is only 2%. You used the moon key. It's like monkey, but it's moon key. Ha ha he 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 ho. Also, Donkey Kong's probably not going to last that long tomorrow, so I think I'll do more of this afterwards. There's a keyhole marked star here. Not the star's key. Nemesis will show up. Nemesis and my near. Oh god, it's a spider. Why are there just spiders inside the mansion now? <laughs> oh my god, there's even a piano. If you play... You're a male. Young. Not even 20. What a strange boy we have. The Battle of the Shodas. Do, 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 you do, figured do, do. that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <laughs> but enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. 
My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. Hmm, what a weirdly familiar sounding name you have, Emil. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. Hello, Emil. No, stay back. Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my assistance... No, please. Don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. Obtained the manor map. Obtained the star key. But that's not the darkness key. The butler's quarter. I guess we'll just have to wait for the spooky darkness key later on. Anyway, nice. what pretty should we much. Do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez. Remind me to never get on your bad side. I mean, he's not wrong. Kaine could easily beat up anything that's here. She's Kaine, after all. Oh, wait, this is... Right, this is where we came in. We're trying to get to the star door. Which, if I remember right, is right over here. You used the star key. Hello. What's that? A butler. Or at least a remarkable likeness of one. Wait, fake butlers? What is this weird... This, this literally is just a stupid Resident Evil mansion as it can be. Kind of like a vice compliment. It's probably the closest thing you'll get to one. I knew this was a trap. Curse my brilliant intuition. Well, he's not turning into a monster or a shade, so... Somebody! Anybody! I really wish I could dash right now. You know what? On that note... Let's at least make sure we have some means of defending ourselves, since we can't just dodge roll out of everything. I don't really think the guard is that reliable, which is why I took it off, but... eh. <laughs> eh? Wait, you're gonna get scared by something as simple as that? Shades! Oh, that wasn't so bad. Oh wait, there's one more. Okay, I think we've handled it for now. Curiously, there's nothing in that room though, just a lot of blood. Bordily shades bleed a lot. Wait, what? I didn't want to go through the door, I wanted to get the spider. Oh well. Obtained the light key. Thick ass dictionary. Dummy thick. Seriously, why do they bleed so much? Ugh. Um, uh, that's concerning. <laughs> Ah, we're in Silent Hill now, I see. At least it's not overflowing, if nothing else. But I was expecting more of a jump scare than just a blood fountain, to be honest. We have finally found the butler. Whoa. Or is he also just a fake butler? Is that... 
Another one. Hmm. Nope, he's alive. Uh. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> it moves. What's going on here? Sir? What is this? Oh, this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. Almost like a statue. Yes, and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. Ah, uh, yes. We will get all of the photos. All of them. Although, I'm kind of blanking on the name of that game currently. Like, I know, I know what you're talking about, Cal. I just can't think of the name for some reason. It's really messing with me. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Like, there's Phasma, but I was thinking of something else besides Phasma. It was, like, where you take pictures to fight the ghost, but I can't quite remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. Mm, yes. I wrote those letters. Huh? Please either. forgive my oh. impertinence. I know what it is! Ah, <laughs> um. oh, yes. Guest starring Rui, who also is trying to figure out what it is. Oh, Fatal Frame! Fatal yeah, Frame! That's what I'm thinking of. Frame. As you may yeah. know, Master Emil, deeply by. pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold. And I feel it is my duty to help however I can. Fatal Frame is a series of games where you, like, fight ghosts by taking their pictures. It is very silly. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. I mean, she's not wrong. There is a boy here, and he is sick. Becoming a Medusa is kind of a sickness. Your friend really liked Fatal Frame 2? I've seen the Fatal Frame games, but I've never actually played one myself. I probably should sometime. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about Master Emil's eyes. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we, or at least this lad beside me, is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse us... Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas... The location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades, and I lack the skill to combat them. What a convenient problem to have, but we conveniently have a solution to. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, we've no more time to waste, so... It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid. You can say that again. Obtain. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. Darkness My butler key. cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests. And now Emil is following us around. What a good... Wait, he can teleport? What? Dark magics are these. And I still can't go fast. Very slow, man. The slowest showed up. But hey, at least I can petrify your enemies. That's gotta be some help, right? I, mean, I can't let you do this on your own. I, I was, so I'll be right here if you need me. I was doing just fine Maybe on my, my own. Eyes can be useful for once. Oh yeah, no, that's one petrified ass shade. Bye bye. And then they were all. Oh wait, okay, now they're all dead. 
I must get the item. Oh, it's a defense drop. Those are handy. We will make it to the end of this hallway one way or... Oh god, this is just an F and T demon. Also, how convenient that he can just selectively petrify things and not get me stuck in the crossfire. Seriously. That seems a little dangerous. Ooh, and... Ah, no. Get out of here. We don't have time for you. Bye bye Obtained the one-handed sword, Blade of Treachery. And it's still probably worse than the sword I have. It is indeed worse than the sword I have. The sword I have is just too powerful. Also, uh, I'm not sure if I want to go this way or where I was. Okay, this is apparently a dead-end room. Is there gonna be something in here? Like, there's gotta be something here. Or is this just a set piece? Yoko Taro, what were you thinking? Hmm. Okay, I guess there's just nothing in this room, or I'm very blind. Uh, the room is locked, so it is just a trap room. Okay, fair enough. Obtained Mahes. Ooh, item drop rate. What was that on again? Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. How, how do you work? Was it magic or martial arts? Guard resistance, room key recovery rate. Physical defense, MP recovery rate. I should have looked more as to what that was actually on, unfortunately. Oh, physical strength. So we had Bezzy Solis. So I don't care about guard resistance. Was it on the weapon, maybe? There we go. Item drop rate. Guard break, armor resistance, guard resistance. Geb has... wait, Geb does not. I could have sworn there was another one. Oh yeah, experience! Attack power... Am I just blind? I could have sworn one of these had experience on them. Well, whatever. Oh, that was close. Thanks, Emil. At least we get experience from these guys, if nothing else, so it's not a total waste of a trap room. That item drop rate should hopefully come in handy. I'm going to need to farm a lot of stuff later. Oh, a save box. How convenient. Also, we're getting very close to a certain event, so I'm going to make sure to double save. Because I'm pretty sure once I pass that point in time, I will actually miss out on all the other side quests, and that would be a problem. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. 
Bah, I do not like anything about this place. Oh, I guess this hoofy book. That doesn't sound like a friendly book. Oh, it's another grimoire, like Vice. <laughs> This one does not appear incapable of speech, though, so I guess we're just fighting it. <sighs> this book's kind of like you, Vice. You don't say- Oh, oh, oh aren't we clever? As if any- Oh, can I actually dodge now? That would be helpful. Any mere tome Thank could you. compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Vice. It is not taking a lot of damage. Oh, it's probably immune to magic, actually, now that I think of it. Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. The pages of this infernal book are sharp as knives. Guess you never learned that trick, huh? Yeah, the magic's just bouncing off of it. So I have to use physical attacks. <sighs> There's no end to this! And then I can use the magic to get rid of the pages. There we go. That's a good strategy. It's kind of tame, actually. I was expecting more out of you, book. Like, we're just curb stomping this thing. Oh, I should probably heal just in case. Or maybe not. Maybe we already won that easily. Never mind. We definitely didn't win. Why'd I say anything? What is it doing? Oh no! I can't petrify it! Hmm. This is a problem. Oh, cutscene time. Okay. That works. Hi, Kaine. Nice of you to finally join us. Kaine! What's the power where have of... you been? Ow, jeez. Hmm? Lost. Where have you been? Getting stomped by this thing. Help! This foe's strength is beyond measure. What do we do? I am an arcane text, not some manual of combat. You are supposed to deal with such matters. Apparently Kaine can hurt it, but I can't run. hurt it with magic. I'll hold it off while you escape. Fuck that. Who's this kid? That's Emil. He's the one who runs this... Fuck, this book is a real asshole. I think we skipped dialogue somehow. Oops. She's too busy vomiting filth disguised as language. You guys go. This is my fight. I can't ask you to die. Oh, I cannot see no, camera angle, please. The bold one. And yet I fear that would be a foolish course of action at this juncture. Besides, we'd never let you do that. Would you all please just shut the hell up? What? I'm just saying, if you bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice, we can do it later. Is this your way of encouraging us? Have we truly sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarments? Yes, yes you have. Just so. accept it. Kaine the best. Kaine the mood for all moods. Eternal no. mood. Oh, that's... That's a prop. Oh, never mind, it just exploded. Rather harmlessly, even. <laughs> so I guess Vice is capable of dying if Vice, this one was. This is it. Research report on petrification. Well, well. How convenient. Dark whirlwind magic from a sealed verse. Attack with magical rotating blades. Charge to increase the number of blades. Oh no! This passage is written in some kind of code! 
How can you tell you're blind? Okay, you're not blind. You just wait. What did you petrify the page if you looked at it? We went through all this trouble to find it, and now. How, how, how does that work? Oh, look, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. He's so creepy. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? What are you doing, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. Aww. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? Kaine being nice for once. This arm is an accursed weapon. The power of Ada, Ada. I thought I would only need it until I had earned my revenge. Once that happened, <laughs> I figured it was all over. But there's a reason I'm alive, that my arm is alive. And there's a reason for your eyes, too. Kaine. But listen. If this shade should ever... Ah, uh, yes. Make a deal with another shoda. Go kill yourself if you go berserk. <gasps> Clearly this will not backfire. No! Also, why trust it to the kid you literally just met? Like, I know that... Kaine. Nearman's a goody two-shoes, but come on. I promise I'll never give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? Ah, oh, what a considerate big brother. I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad earlier. <laughs> Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Mm. She Naruto runs. I didn't notice Speak that until so now. Pussy. Book? Shut up. Look at her Naruto yeah, run. Calm down, Vice. You've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then, we can finally save Yona. We did it. We finally have all the MacGuffins. Every MacGuffin we could possibly hope for in our hands. I have not tried Dark Whirlwind yet. Nope. Whirlwind. Whirl there we go. And there's nothing to test it on, because that boss is not here. That looks incredibly useful. And it lasts a surprisingly long time, too. Very nice. Seriously, it's still going. And it doesn't cost any magic, either, after you use it initially. Very nice. Very nice, indeed. That's probably never going up my hot bar, then. Finally, we're so close to the end. It's only been, like, three hours. But that's okay. Like, I should be able to wrap this up in the next hour, I think.
because this is where I was wanting to get to, more or less. Now we just gotta go to the lie Barbie. Oh, we teleported. Yona, you need to lie down. I know. Meow. Must tuck it her in off screen. Longer, I promise. I finally collected all of the sealed verses. Ah, shit, I should have saved now, first. I just need to find Grimoire Noir. I should have saved first. It sounds dangerous. Will you be okay? Can I save after this? I don't even I know. Is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. Ah, poor girl. She's trying her you best. You... You're... You're not gonna hate me because of this, are you? What are you talking about? It's just... I... I don't want you to hate me because of this terrible disease. Yona, I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if Popola has more medicine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh, God damn it, the stairs. The magic stairs. There we go. Health solved. 700 gold. All very convenient. Yona's looking weaker and weaker every day. Yes, but do not lose heart. You are the girl's last remaining hope. This is probably the most important save because. If I remember the sequence of events right, I'll need to come back to that second save so I can go do all the side quests that I would have missed otherwise. Yeah. And I mean a lot of side quests I would have missed otherwise. The finish line is inside, if nothing else. Popola. Popola. Yona's cough is getting worse. Popola. Oh, that's not good. Any chance you could give me some more medicine? Please? The thing is, I actually just ran out. I hate to ask this, but can you get me some vapor moss? You'll find it growing near the southern gate. A vapor moss, huh? I'll be right back. Oh, that's it? That's convenience. Not, oh, you have to go on another quest, like a city away from here or anything. Nope, it's, it's just by the southern gate. The most convenient of gates. He came back home to see me. Yay! Aww. To be fair, the sense of time in this game is very strange. Because we know that we meet Kaine sometime in September. Because there was an entry about that in the journal. But other than that, it's all very wonky. Obsessively saving OCD. Boo -do -do -do. Because I don't want to repeat too many things if I don't have to. If I can avoid it anyway. Well, she said the southern gate, so it should just be right down here. Are there any new weapons in the shop? Welcome! Look at that giant sword behind. There are no items you can buy. Thanks for your... We are chained to the sword forever. Obtained vapor moss. Why is a meal here? A meal? Oh no, poor Emil. He looks hurt. We must save him. Oh. Oh. Okay, Emil. What is it? What happened? Uh, hurry. Emil! Well, it's time. We are at the point of no return. He doesn't seem to be sick. 
I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. <sighs> Are you all right, Emil? I can see it. Hey, just take it easy, okay? The air. It's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Get out. Get out of the village. The shades are coming. Dun 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 dun. Huh? <laughs> Sounds like they're already here. Come on, let's go. Time for fight forever. Fight forever. Fight forever. Oh, world purification coming. Oh, God damn, I need to take screenshots of those. I keep forgetting that sometimes those show up and give very important information. Damn it! It's not gonna hold! <laughs> well, here we are. They have somehow broken down the entire door. The shades are attacking! Everything going straight to shit. The hell's going on? No time. Get everyone into the library. And please, make sure Yona's safe. Don't worry. I'll grab her. I like how casual Devil is. It's like, dude, can you not see the giant wave of, like, Just Toho behind you? Killed, all right? I won't. Now go, Devola. Hurry! Like, that's a lot of bullets. We have to stop them before they destroy the village! Dispatch these smaller ones as fast as you can. Oh, well, yeah, they'll protect from all the bullets. This is an amazing power every up. Last one of you! You whelps are hardly worthy of our steel. Physical defense is pretty good. Come on. Bring everything you got! Pathetic. Even in death, they disgust me. Oh, that was fast. Hurry! Hurry! Get the wounded to the library! Okay, we now have our... Oh, that's a big freaking fist! If any of you were here for the near raid, this guy is back. And just as chonky. Look at the absolute size of that lad. Big Chungle Bungle Boy. Dear God, what is that brute? I don't know. We gotta take it down. Oh, he got shockwaves. Like, can I attack his hand? Oh. I don't have a lot of magic power. The arms are vulnerable when it attacks. He has a point. He does have a point. I need to get closer and make him attack. Oh, I can't. Can I? Almost, almost, come on. Got it, nice. And that gets all of our magic back too, so it works out. Ah uh, yes, super fist time, baby! Big red fist, go, 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 go! Get him! Oh? Oh? Oh, we just ripped his arm off, that's incredibly brutal. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he can just regenerate his arm, apparently. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, you don't say. He's like Piccolo, he can stretch it. A regenerating shade. How will we even know if our attacks are working? We'll just have to keep hitting it until we find out. Hmm. 
We can climb up from here. Okay, we could be able to attack its hands from here, yeah? Oh, I can't charge and jump at the same time, it seems. Perhaps its interior is more vulnerable. Interior? What do you mean by its interior? Uh, what are you suggesting, Vice? Oh, geez. That's a so lot of bullets. Fire some magic into its mouth. Yeah, about that. It's kind of firing magic out of its mouth. I'm trying to aim... Nope. Also, I need to heal really bad. Oh. Ah, crap, I can't. Wait, if the hand goes down, I can attack it at least. There we go. That works. Where are you going? Look where it's headed. Like hell it is. Ah, uh, yes. What a good way to end the boss fight. Drown yourself. <laughs> Oops. Come on, get up. If you cannot swim, why do you keep leaping into bodies of water? It, it's not me. It's almost like my body just does it on its own. God, this power up is so OP. I love it. Gotta get that big red fist again. Tear him a new butthole. Do it, do it, do it. What's your plan this- Okay, you're just gonna punch him really hard. You know what, that's a pretty good plan too. It's working pretty well so far. But he doesn't seem to mind that much, actually. This isn't working! So what do we do? Where's Kaine? <laughs> there she is. Right on cue. You guys having a good time? Huh? Kaine! <laughs> oh, Kaine. How could anyone hate you? You're wonderful. Underestimate us at your own peril, fiend. Keep hitting it. At some point, it's got to start working. Is she trying to raise our morale, or is she honestly that insane? Either one works for me. Let's go. Come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, it's the first the I see. No, that's where Yona is. That beast will crush you to a Oh, jeez. I don't care. I have to save Yona. You're gonna die today. That thing does so much damage. Oh, I'm running out of healing items. I need to actually. Power up a bit. Now that's not even a real word. Shithog's a real nerd. If you wanted to be. You're almost there. Keep pushing. How do you know I'm almost there? Swing that thing. I'm glad you noticed. Come on, just a little more. You really know how to put up a fight, Kaine. Just in case. Wait. Come on, help keep is pushing completely it. gone. What do you want me to do? Oh, 
Like, it's at zero health. There's only so much I can do. You stubborn son of a bitch! Come on. I guess we're just going up here. Oh, look at the face, I see. There we go. Did you leave your strength in your other Ah, I'm sad we missed that dialogue. <laughs> Wait, your big plan is to use your Phantasm skill of all fit? Okay, apparently your Phantasm skill is stronger than I gave it credit for. Fair enough. Anime! And yet it is still standing. Somehow. I just, we're just gonna have to give it that many more beatings. Yeah! The beatings will continue until morale improves. We did it. We opened the way to Kingdom Hearts. It's light. <laughs> He's totally dead. Will never bother us again. I'm missing so many healing items, holy shit. Oh. That's no good. Shades in the library. Yona! Is there at least healing items I can get before I go in the library? I'm so low on them now. Will it give us the option to buy them? Save point is not active. I imagine everyone has fled the village otherwise. Yeah, because there's just these shades over here now. Yeah, none of those shops are probably open. This is stupid. But I need to at least look. Oh yeah, they're all gone. I'm on my own. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to deal with it then. With very minimal health. That's a lot of shades. Emil, are you okay? You can't keep fighting like this. I have to. There's no other choice. Oh, good. They're giving me hope Otherwise, back. Otherwise, why did I even come here? Get out of here, Emil. No. I won't abandon these people now. You told me once that Hero my eyes time. Had value, And that I shouldn't be ashamed of them. You told me that even a life like mine had purpose. So I won't just sit around and let you fight while I stay behind. Emil. Just don't die on me. Oh, we're I wrecking won't, them. Kai. Let's take care of these shit hogs. <laughs> I like it. Good on you, Emil. You understand. Obtained Besso. Physical strength plus eight. Oh my. That is much better than what I currently have. We can't let any more shades in here. So what's the plan? Also, that rumbling is ominous. <laughs> oh, hello! I guess you're still kind of alive, but now you're just a weird eel thing now? <laughs> well, Emil! Is there no way to kill this infernal thing? I mean, we've made it smaller, so that's an improvement. Just have to be smart about it. Although I'm not sure what is an actual hurt box and what's a hurt box, so we'll figure that out pretty fast, won't we? Okay, this fight isn't too bad at least. It's not doing a whole lot. It's not very threatening at all, actually. Okay, 
wave. You could at least target the last. There we go. Perhaps we could chase it to the basement and seal it there. Those walls are thick rock. I doubt even this beast could break them. I don't know about that. Great. I love basements. What? Why do you love basements, Kaine? Eh? I'm a little concerned. Do it! Knock it down the basement! Okay. I'll be right. Oh, I can't use... I see. So you can only use the blades. If you change to something else, the blades disappear. <laughs> Encore of the big red fist. Now we have two big red fists. Hell yeah! I'm gonna knock you into next week, punk. Get in there, nerd. Give me the key! Right! Oh. Oops. No. F in the chat, boys. This showed us screwed. Well, aren't you a thing? Oh no, he's gone full anime. How can we possibly defeat him? Oh, it's time for the best line in the game, too. Oh, I'm so ready. Dear God. <laughs> Yoda! That's a lot of boys. Four strong boys have come to pay their respects. Is that the leader of these creatures? Final boss, it's the final boss. He's very angry and he's got a black book. <laughs> Anime screaming. Ah! Oh no, Vice has gone to the book dimension. Finally. Albert Where Wesker, is that you? It's been a long time, Grimoire Vice. Who are you? What is I'm this place? Albert Wesker. I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What? Do you not remember, Grimoire Vice? We too serve a higher purpose. Enough lies! Stay back! Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous! Your denial is preposterous! We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. <laughs> the Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? The Shadow Lord. Our ultimate goal. White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse? Us? No, I cannot. I will not. I will never. Your chance encounter with this boy. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No. Lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. Complete global we saturation. Shall become as one, you and I. Kinky. <laughs> Become one. Oh God! Please don't Voice, say it like that. You dumbass! Cry, 
Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one. Or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big, smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big, sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! Kinda is such a mood. Ugh. How could you ever one hate her? With the shadow. Huh? <laughs> bitch. Shadow bitch. We grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. We must unite. The world demands it. Paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Who's. Yeah. It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us. Poor Emil is trying his best. But I promise I won't forget you. I'll remember you. No matter what. I'll keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. Will you? That's, that's not all I'll do. You hear me? I'll chase you to the end of time, and I'll bring you back to us. So, Vice, please, please come back. Like Damn I don't. It, we need to stop him. I don't if think Grimoire do Vice is even mentioned Vice. in Automata. Black, white, black, white. Pokemon. Yes, now we shall unite in common purpose. Then the world can finally bear witness to our true power. Boys! 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 <laughs> We've got to... <laughs> Come on, use your show to powers. You can do it. For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not to be abbreviated. V Vice? Vice? Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I don't like you, and I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back. Of course, they're weak, and they whine when I leave. Right. It's almost too much trouble, but they are my friends. I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice, thanks. <clears throat> Animate moment. Time to kick his ass. God, this fight's so good. All oh, your magical powers have been taken. Oh. Damn you. Our true memories are still there. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you should have scribbled them in my margins, hmm? Oh. Let us start by dispatching the nearby distractions. Get back here. I can't use my magic. Okay, fine. We'll take care of the shakes first, I guess. <laughs> the fiend has stolen the sealed verses. <laughs> I'll get them back, Vice. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll focus on the shades first. If you mean I have to, I'll do it. 
Bing bang boom, get out of my way, shader runes. It will take more than that to make us flinch. Yeah, you're just sending scrubs after us. What do you think that's going to accomplish? You're just giving me health back. Okay, they did a little damage, I guess. So they're not completely useless. Hi, Kaine. Bye, Kaine. And you are the last one left, Noir. Noir? Address me by my proper name, fool! <laughs> oh dear. That's okay, we're just gonna beat the tar out of him until he gives us our magic back. There we go! Surprisingly, magical books are in fact very weak to swords. Who would have thought? Although I'm not sure why Grimoire of Vice has turned into a yellow book now. Dark Phantasm, the other one I never use. Oh, that's a lot of bullets though. There we go, we did it. We got all of our stuff back, more or less. Oh, got more in you, huh? Dark Gluttony. We're just letting beat down this little book. Dark Wall. Oh, he's regained his health back. He's doing the same thing Rujo did. Ow! Blamed my powers. You know what, if there's ever a time for this. Good heavens! The roof is about to collapse! Here it comes! Stay back! I can't I actually dodged now. it that time. There we go. Finally learning how to dodge one stationary orb. We did it. We kicked that book's ass. The book is now... Oh dear. Why would you jump in front of... What, what was your plan? No! Literally, what was your plan? What were you hoping to accomplish by doing that? You will understand in time. Also, this is the part where the plot just Get kind of up. goes to hell. No! Give my sister back! Like, why not just finish us off? Why just run away? I don't get it. I mean, I guess if they kill us here, the game won't continue, but still. No matter it's... how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Still. Yona. I think you've lost Yona! most of your blood, my dude. Like, Yona! That is multiple pints of blood. How are you standing? Are you okay? Your lungs are basically Yona, powder. Is this blood? The fight's over. And I think we are lost. We? Sorry, guys. I think this is it. For me, too. <laughs> Kaine, no! Oh, quit crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah I want you to... I want you to petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. No! 
I can't. Kaine. Stop. He's right. It's suicide. You can't do it. She's getting ignored as we speak. exist to protect others, right? <laughs> Kaine. Just do it, Emil. But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! <laughs> ah yes, what a good choice. Do nothing and be annihilated. What if we... Actually, I think if you choose do nothing and be annihilated, it straight up just gives you a bad end, so let's not do that. Because, of course, it's Yoko Taro, and he doesn't shy away from bad endings. And joke endings. Look at me with your special eyes. Kaine! My brand! No more crying, okay? <laughs> Grow strong. Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <sighs> I doubt it. Now you might be asking yourself, why not just seal the door by itself? Well, one, it would probably bust through the door if she moved, and two, she was getting norded, so... Probably for the best. <laughs> Quick, can you petrify my inside so I stop bleeding out? Wait for me, Gaine. I... I swear. Also, how are you not petrifying everything else you're looking at? What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. Like, you've looked at so many things, and they are not turning to stone. Save progress, yes. But only in this file up here. Wow, we jumped like three levels during that. Successful test case discovered and attained specimens cooperation requests for three different situations. Treatment specimen classified, classified, classified. Oh no. Five years later. Oh, is that the guy who was making the construction stuff? Oops. Also, these shades are a lot more tangible and armored than I remember. But it's okay, we have the power of anime now! Our little Shota boy's all grown up. He's now a himbo. Don't let your guard down. Pemville man thinks he's Cloud Strife. You may now use two-handed swords and spears now that you're no longer a little Shota baby. Two-handed swords, spears, one-handed swords. We've got Beast Bane. We've got Kuzo. Holy shit, that is strong. Chonky sword. Like, why even bother with one-handed swords, then? Oh yeah, I still have all my powers, duh. Okay, maybe not all of them. There we go. That was very useful for these armored guys. Now we've got big downward slashy strikes. Hell yeah. Baseball swing and we're just whirlwind spin to win now, huh? Oh, 
And yes, the shades are now holding swords even. Weapon quick switching tutorial. Yeah, this one's way better for guard breaks, it feels like. Oh, the range on that is slightly less than I thought, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. Enough horseplay. But horseplay's all I know, Vice. Why would you deny me my horseplay? Hodo. Dark resistance doesn't help me that much. Also, would you please stop launching them like a mile away? I'm kind of wondering if the two-handed sword is actually worth it, because it is very slow. Like, it does have more attack power, but like its speed has something to be desired. I keep forgetting that I don't have anything on left trigger for some reason. Come on, get impaled, why don't ya? These things have a lot more health than I would have expected, to be honest. Like, using the two-handed sword does not seem to do a whole lot more or a whole lot less than the one-handed currently. Okay, seriously, why? Why do you have so much health? Just die, please. Hellish. Health cell. Those are handy. Here's another poor victim. Damn it. When will this stop? Shoda, now big, strong boy. It's dangerous here. You should get back. Oh, gods! Oh, get, get up, honey! Please! Get up! He, he's very dead. Goddamn, the shades are even attacking the village now. And armored ones, no less. This village of yours seems to be changing for the worse. It's all the Shadow Lord's fault. That one day changed everything. Five long years. Fight forever. <laughs> it's been five years since they took my sister. I spent every waking moment searching for her, but all I found is heartache and despair. All I found this is how is to be edgy. Down. Between the shades and the black scroll, there won't be anyone left soon. My life now, and my purpose, is hunting shades. Someday I'll find a clue that will lead me to the Shadow Lord. I believe that. I have to. Popola called for you, yes? Yeah. We lost a good deal of time with that. Yeah. Colonel, now I'm super grumpy and angry. Uh, I'm no longer the Shoda I used to be. And with that lovely time skip, I think it... Good time to call it. Thanks to all of you for coming to the funny near stream. Let's see if there's someone we can raid. Let's see, let's see. Wait, is Per already back on? Really? That's amazing. We've actually managed to go into a feedback loop of raiding if we pull this off. And yeah, and Per's only been playing for like an hour anyways. So yes, we're going to do the lovely double helix reach around, and we're going to raid her! Yay! Thank you all for coming. We're going to have a good time with Stardew Valley. Go, my little sluggers, go! Yeah, 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 yeah! It is time for the raid. I gave it that long stretches, but you might have to marathon it. Okay, let's... Hi, Mina, thank you for the raid. Uh, let me get you a shout out in a second. Uh, I'm just... 
trying to manage my farm. Or actually, I think 